Now, in this video, we'll talk about the stress control test and strain control test. What are the stress control tests in soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering? And what are the strain control tests? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of stress and strain control test? So stress control, stress and strain controlled tests. So stress control tests are those tests in which the stress is controlled, in which the stress is applied at a constant rate. Stress is applied at constant rate. These are called stress controlled tests. For example, odometer test. Odometer test. In odometer test, you apply the stress for various intervals. For example, in odometer test, you apply the first increment of load of 25 kPa for first 24 hours, then you apply another increment of load for next 24 hours. So this is how you control the stress in odometer test. So this type of test is called stress control test. Another type of test is strain control test. Strain control test in which the strain or displacement rate is kept constant. Strain rate is kept constant mostly. Strain rate or displacement is kept constant. Now, for example, in triaxial test, the example is triaxial test in which we control the strain or we shear the soil sample under the specific shear rate or strain, uh, strain rate. Similarly, there is another example of the test that is direct shear test. Direct shear test is one of the example of strain control test. So this is how we define the stress controlled and strain control test. Now, what is the advantage of strain control test? Strain control test. So according to strain control test, you can obtain the post peak failure response of any material. If this is the stress versus strain curve, so you can obtain the post peak response in strain control test, but it is not possible to obtain the post peak behavior or post peak response in stress control test. You may obtain the curve like that in strain or stress control test. So this is the limitation of stress control test that you cannot, you cannot analyze the post peak behavior of any material. So that is why in laboratory, most of the tests are performed under strain control conditions. So uh, the, uh, the examples I have uh, already highlighted that these uh, are in which the strain control conditions are used. In stress controlled, uh, this is basically very near to the uh, field conditions. So this is how we define stress and strain conditions or strain, stress and strain control test. And this is the uh, major limitation of stress control test that we cannot obtain the post peak behavior of stress control test. So thank you and Allah.